Hi, welcome to All Things Possible. We're excited to have you here with us. I'm Chris. And I'm Bill. We are going to be talking today about service is the answer. You've heard us talk about service before. You've heard a lot of things. We want to talk to you today specifically on how service can be the answer for you. And absolutely. It's not natural for us to think when we get in trouble, we need to go do something for somebody else. But whether you're depressed, whether you've got a, a mountain of bills that is hard to pay, whatever situation is going on in your life, you would be amazed. And I just invite you to put it to the test. If you will go out and serve, how much it changes your circumstances. So before we get deeper into this, if you haven't joined our community right here on on the screen, join us at allthingspossible.biz. Right there. And there's free gifts there for you. There's a community that we love, our All Things Possible community, and we put out new blogs and posts and videos every week. So join us there so that you can get all the things that we put out. Okay, great. And so leading into that, this week has been an interesting <laughs> thing for us to relearn and, and, and revisit that lesson again. And, and really see how it changed our lives. So as you can see, there is a lot of snow in our background here. Yay! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is our front yard. We actually got 19 inches of snow in a matter of about four days here in Harriman area in Utah. And that's not uncommon for us to get, but this particular time it came on a very busy week. So I don't know when you are watching this, but this happened to be the week of Thanksgiving. So there was tons of snow, tons of bad weather, and a lot of road conditions. In fact, on our road itself, we had, on Tuesday, we had seven vehicles that were off the road. Now, it had not even been snowing. There was no snow down in Harriman. We live in the mountains, but it was icy. There was less than an inch of snow and there were seven vehicles off the sides. It was just amazing the, the sheet ice that was under there and, and they was off the sides. And I went to, to go to work on my on our mechanic business. I have a mobile mechanic business. And I took my, my work truck and I started out the driveway and I started backing down the driveway and I just got out onto the road and I could hardly move. And we've got a big steep hill to get up to get out of here. And I thought, well, how often have I gone to work and says, I would have been better off staying home today. I decided ahead of time <laughs> right. that that was a good day to stay home. <laughs> well, and I watched it from the window. I watched him get to the end of the driveway, which is all flat, and then start to go to get a run. And all he was doing is spinning. And I was like, what's wrong? I called him on the phone and he's just like, I can't, I can't go anywhere. My, my truck's heavy. It's just ice. And as I watched that, I was like, oh my goodness, you know, there's, there's all these people that are counting on us to do business. And you start to get into that frustration that, oh my goodness, what's going to happen? And, and you look at everything that's wrong, that's bad. Right. We start going, I just had flown in the night before from being gone to a, to a speaker's thing. And, and it was like, okay, this is like this smack in the face. We have so much to do. And we just decided, you know what? We can get out in our four-wheel drive car and we could go do some service. We could go, which believe me, Costco is not the place to go the week of Thanksgiving, but <laughs> we could go and we could get some things that we're working on a project for a sub for Santa. And instantly as we are sorting through and trying to get these, we were getting 40 dress shirts. So, so we got out, got in our car, <laughs> went to Costco, and we're trying to get all these different sizes of 40 dress shirts. And <laughs> It was amazing and, the looks that we were getting. Yeah, all these people are like, "You guys are crazy. This isn't even what we're doing." This it's week. like, no, we're filming a we're filming a show for hoarders. We're filming <laughs> an episode of hoarders. No. But it was interesting to see that how people reacted to us. It looked like we were trying to get this great deal and get as many as we could, right? And yet the whole time we felt great about it because it made us get out of ourselves and and see it differently. Go, okay, well, we're going to be behind at work. We're going to. We're going to have things kind of catch up to us where it's already a holiday week and most of the time we leave town or have a big thing planned for the weekend. This particular year, things worked out a little differently. So we were going to have Saturday, Friday and Saturday to be able to work and catch up. Anyway, we got the shirts. We got the stuff we needed. There were a lot of other things that we, that we got and we headed home feeling really good inside. That was like, you know what? We shifted. We did this differently. And now, just that one thing, just that one thing, 
if I had just says, okay, you know what, I'm going to sit down and watch TV because that's what I want to do because if I can't go to work, I'm going to watch TV anyway. And, and my tone of voice went right where my emotions would have went to. Oh my gosh, I'm losing all this money. I can't go to work. I, I'm stressed. I've got work piling up now that when I can get to work, then I'm going to have all this stuff backed up. And I could have gotten into all of that, but instead... We went this different route and it was amazing the way we came home feeling good. So Yeah, we came home with a whole different outlook. And then the snow set in. And what I can tell you is for the next four days, for hours and hours, Bill plowed snow. He plowed out neighbors. He, he went every day and did that. And I don't tell you that to brag, but he instantly went to service. He didn't go to work at all. In fact, he hasn't been to work since last Monday. And yet... It was a fabulous week. And, and so I, I don't want to, you know, every time I would go out to plow our driveway, I'd go around and, and check the neighbors in the neighborhood and, and plow those that, that were, um, that, that, you know, the snow was piling up on. And believe me, it wasn't that big of a service sacrifice. I've got one of those little side-by-side -side razors thing with the plow on the top of it. It's got an enclosed cab. And I could just go out there and drive around. It's kind of like playing in the snow in my toy. And so it isn't like we're trying to make this altruistic, look at me and what I did. That's not the point. Yes, we did service, but it was what it did for us, for me as a person to be able to get outside of myself instead of focus on my immediate problems. Oh, I can't go to work. I'm losing money. I'm going to get work piled up. It's going to be stress. Instead of set and focusing on that. Which really, what is it going to solve if you sit and focus on that? Instead, I went out and said, let's spend the time and see if we can help some people and play in my toy at the same time. And so it's like, uh, it's the one time I'm probably able to multitask. <laughs> <laughs> now, he puts a lot of that, oh, no big deal, hours and hours out in the cold. Now, yes, it did change how we felt. We took the focus off of ourselves and our problems and our situation and things that were out of our control. We couldn't control the weather, right? And we chose how to deal with that. We chose how to do it differently. When you feel depressed or frustrated, even grief, your relationship's poor. When you want to see real change, you want to change the difficult things that are happening in your life, whether that's decisions or circumstances, serve. Go to service. Service will change all the time. You've heard me tell the story of the balloon. We're in the hospital. We start buying a balloon and finding the child that that balloon belongs to. It took a lot of visits, but guess what? We were the ones that were changed. And it totally changed the experience. And we saw that over and over with just the many other uh, people that we dealt with. That When the families, they've got a child there. Some people are, oh, poor me, and the doctors aren't doing enough, and this is so bad, and... And this is the worst thing that ever happened to me. We noticed a real uh, trend in those people versus the ones who were more outward focused and, and working to be happy going through the situation. It seemed like those who were more outward focused, their child did better. So there's so much. But th there's such a key to service. There's something about service. You've heard the uh, story, too, that Chris has talked about just briefly. 20 years ago, her brother committed suicide. She was very worried about his wife and her children, and she spent two or three months. Oh, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> but it scared it, and it left, and so that's good. <laughs> now it's in the snowbank. <laughs> it's a silly cat. <laughs> anyway, so she spent two or three months focusing on helping uh, her sister-in-law and those children and serving them and she did good but when they got to where they were in a pretty good place she stopped and and this was 20 years ago she wasn't focused on that service and she started to focus on how she felt about losing her twin and yes you need to go through a grieving process but when she quit service she went into a, a depression i went into the deepest depression and the most difficult part of my life it was a dark part of her life it was a dark period but it was amazing how when she was serving she was doing good. When she quit and she started focusing on herself is when she started to spiral. So, uh, cat's back. Service can look like anything. It doesn't have to look like taking cookies to the neighbors. Decide what you want to do. Do it different. If that's shoveling snow, great, shovel snow. If that's smiling, if that's talking to someone in line at the grocery store, if that's being nice to the person that's the cashier on the other side of that, especially 
right now we're going into the season of purchasing, right? And there's a lot of lines. There's there a lot of There can be a lot of stress. And, and just you, just a simple smile and a cheerful demeanor instead of, this is terrible, all these crowds. And well, if you don't like the crowds, stay home. <laughs> or go in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's but if you're going to go and you're going to do it, be happy. Spread some cheer around. Never underestimate the power of just a sincere smile to someone. You don't even have to say anything all the time. Uh, maybe go visit someone who uh, just spend, give some of your time. It doesn't always have to be about spending money and buying things for people. Uh, send, write them a note, send a card, a text. Do things differently. Make it a focus to serve someone every day. When you put service as the focus, it shifts how your life turns out. It brings abundance in. Gratitude and service together, it's amazing. But if you want to change your life faster than anything else, go serve. Absolutely. Thanks and for being here with us today. I was cutting you off. What did you want to say? I was going to say, the, the cynic would say service may not be the answer to everything, but I'll bet it'll answer more problems than just about anything else you can do in your life. Give it a try. You'll be amazed what it'll do. Keep track of your results, too, because what you put out there, you get back. It will come back. Thanks for being here. Again, if you haven't joined the community, join with us on allthingspossible.biz, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.